Hello and welcome to our little super absorber and soil conditioner introduction. I want to show you four different materials that can be injected pretty easily with the MTM devices. We will have a closer look at a non-toxic polymer based super absorber, a material consisting of minerals mostly from volcanic origin, a substance for water storing and soil conditioning which is based on organic resources and a mixture of all of those components. Before we start to explain the differences between those materials, let's focus on their similarities. All these materials will improve the soil conditions. They all will let your plants grow better and all of them work more or less as a water storage. Alright, let's start with the pure super absorber. As you can imagine, this stuff was designed to store a whole lot of water. And it's actually just amazing. When it gets into contact with H2O, it multiplies its weight by absorbing it. As I told you before, it's non-toxic and not harmful at all, if it is used properly. You might ask yourself, what does that mean? Well, there are some mistakes that can be made and that can lead to awful consequences. First of all, when you inject the super absorber, never do this under dry conditions. Mix the absorber with water and then inject it. Why is that so? Well, the super absorber will do what it was designed for, absorbing water. If it did not soak up some water before being injected, it'll just take what's there. So it will cause the exact opposite of what you wanted it to do and basically steal the last drop of water which was left in your dry ground. So always keep in mind, if you want to use a super absorber, mix it with water and then inject it. The second thing is, do not inject too much of the absorber. If you mix a super absorber with water properly but inject too much of it, your plant will be just fine, <laughs> until it drowns. So, when you're working with super absorbers, you have to obey two rules. Do not use it dry and do not use too much. Then, you will be very happy with your super absorber. Alright, now we switch to the organic material. What I like the most about it is that it really absorbs the water quite quick almost like a sponge. Plus, it does not just store water, but provides some kind of natural fertilizers. Used properly, you will see some quick and satisfying results. On the other hand, this material does not store the water as long as the other soil conditioners. I do not want to judge whether this is an advantage or a disadvantage. I'm just telling you. When we have a closer look on the minerals from volcanic origin, we can see that it absorbs the water not as quick as the other two substances. But don't worry, although it might take some time, it just works fine. What I like the most about this stuff is that it is stable in its structure. It creates a fluffy wet environment around the roots without becoming slimy or grainy. 
being structure stable is this material's most amazing advantage. Okay, now let's draw our attention to the mixture. It is a well-balanced combination of super absorber, minerals and organic material. You might say that it combines all the advantages, but on the other hand, the lower concentration of one part also lowers the material's unique capabilities. The combination which is shown here will encourage the plant to develop longer and stronger roots, so the plant itself can grow stronger, become more resistant and improve its metabolism. As I told you at the beginning, all these soil conditioners will work out just fine as long as the application is done correct. Keep in mind that you need three components if you want this story to have a happy end. You need a good conditioner, a working injection device and a skilled operator. If only one of these components fail, the results will not be as you expected it to be. This was our short little introduction of super absorbers and soil conditioners. Every one of these conditioners is great, but when you want to be successful, the most important factor is knowledge. If you have more questions regarding soil conditioning, watch the next video or just ask us. We're at your service.